Welcome to the Atomic 14 TV show. Have we got an episode for you? And if you like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Well, this is very exciting. I get lots of packages from China, but this one is from the good old USA. I've already opened it. Let's have a look at what's inside. We have a box. This is something from Kickstarter. Now, I backed this, oh, I can't remember when I backed this, a very long time ago. But it's a very, very tiny TV. So now look at that, not bad. We've got some knobs, this is like a volume knob. And we've got the uh, channel selector. <laughs> That's fantastic. Nice. And there's even a little remote control. Volume control works. And the channel selector works. This is very, very cool. It's very cool. Let's take it apart and see what's inside. Now I think if you just push here, the circuit board will pop out. So we have a very, very tiny battery, 3.7 volts, 150 milliamp power. Um, that seems to be just stuck on with a bit of glue. Let's, uh, let's detach that. Very sticky. Aha, interesting. So it looks like we have a, an SD card. Um, let's take the... Uh, buttons off the front. So these seem to just pop off, hopefully. Yep, there's one. And there's the other. I can see a couple of screws here. Let's, uh, maybe we should disconnect the battery first. Let's do that. That's the battery removed. Okay, cool. So this one looks like the speaker. So we'll just uh, pop that off. Okay, so there's the uh, front of the TV with its little tiny speaker. It's the display with its little connecting ribbon. We'll uh, take some photos of this and um, see what it's made up of. In the words of the great man himself, one moment please. So let's start off with the simple bits. We've got our cute little battery of 150 milliamp hours. It's got a nice battery protection PCB built in. And we've got a very generous 8 gigabyte SD card for storing videos. If we look at the contents of this on our computer, we can see a bunch of AVI files. The video files all play without any problem, so they are standard movie files. We can use one of the FFmpeg suite of tools to have a look at the format, and as you'd expect, it's pretty simple. It's a motion JPEG, which means it's just a sequence of JPEG images, and the audio is just 8-bit PCM. This is quite a common approach to playing videos on microcontrollers. Decoding a JPEG is considerably simpler than decoding a full video stream. The settings file contains a few interesting things, such as the current volume, channel, and a few other bits and pieces. The remote control is pretty simple. We've got an AT Tiny 441 doing all the hard work, along with a transistor for driving the infrared LED. The main board is a lot more interesting. It's all based around an RP2040. These have got really popular over the past couple of years, and I really need to have a proper play with one myself. We've got the crystal down here for its clock, and here's the flash memory for the firmware. Over here, we've got the audio amplifier for driving the speaker, along with its supporting passive components. And we've got the IR receiver, which matches up to this little window on the front of the TV box. That's pretty much everything of interest on this side of the board. 
On the other side, we've got the 5 pin battery charger IC. And this tiny little chip here is the low dropout regulator. You can barely see it. Amazing! All this stuff up here is for the soft power switch and power path. These two rotary encoders handle the volume and channel switching. All in all, it's a really nicely put together bit of kit. I like it. I got my Tiny TV 2 from Kickstarter, but it's now available on Indiegogo. I've put a link in the description. I'm going to try and recreate my own version of this using an ESP32. I've got a PCB currently being manufactured by the guys at PCBWay. It's got an audio amplifier, and I've got a bunch of bits on order from AliExpress. So now you know why I've been playing around with very minimal ESP32 boards. I want something really tiny. You can watch a video on my experiment so far, which should be showing up somewhere on the screen now.